cop pulls over unusual car, stops cold when realizing who the driver is. Ben Thompson's night shift began like any other. The city streets were bathed in the eerie glow of streetlights, and the hum of life was punctuated by the occasional siren in the distance. Ben had patrolled these streets for years, expecting to face the usual mix of minor traffic violations, noise complaints, and the occasional unruly bar brawl. However, tonight would take an unexpected turn, plunging Ben into a whirlpool of emotion and mystery. As he cruised through the maze of streets, something caught Ben's attention. An unusual car, seemingly out of place amidst the monotonous array of vehicles that populated the city. The vehicle's tinted windows concealed its occupants, leaving a trail of uncertainty in its wake. Instinct and years of police work told Ben that something was amiss, and he decided to pull that car over. As he approached the vehicle, his heart quickened as he felt an inexplicable sense of anticipation. The car's window rolled down, and there behind the wheel sat a figure that sent a shockwave through his entire being. It was none other than Jake Mitchell, Ben's childhood best friend who had vanished without a trace 20 years ago, leaving behind a mystery that had haunted their small town for decades. The reunion between Ben and Jake was charged with a mixture of emotions. Ben was paralyzed with shock, struggling to process the impossible sight before him. He'd long accepted that Jake was gone, that he'd become another statistic in the ranks of the missing, his memory preserved in the form of a dusty photo on a shelf in his parents' house. But there he was, in the flesh, behind the wheel of a car that shouldn't exist in Ben's reality. On the other side, Jake appeared equally stunned, a stark contrast to the adventurous and carefree spirit that Ben had known from their boyhood days. The laughter and camaraderie that once defined their friendship were replaced by an air of apprehension and unease. Jake's face, once a canvas for mischievous grins and youthful exuberance, was etched with the lines of a life Ben could scarcely imagine. As the initial shock wore off, a flood of questions erupted within Ben. Where had Jake been all these years? Why had he disappeared without a word? What had brought him back to this city, to this moment, and into the beam of Ben's police cruiser's headlights? The silence that hung between them was thick with unspoken words, the weight of two decades of separation and unfulfilled curiosity. With a trembling voice, Ben finally managed to ask, Jake, is it really you? Jake nodded slowly, a mixture of relief and anxiety flashing in his eyes. Yeah, it's me, Ben. Ben's mind raced with countless scenarios and theories, each one more implausible than the last. He struggled to find the words to convey the depth of his emotions, of the betrayal he had felt when his best friend had vanished without a trace, and yet the sight of Jake's worn face and the uncertainty in his eyes began to chip away at Ben's anger, replaced by a glimmer of compassion. The reunion of Ben and Jake was not a joyous one, as Ben had often imagined it over the years. Instead, it was a bittersweet moment, fraught with the weight of unanswered questions and the realization that their lives had taken radically different paths. The mysteries that had shrouded Jake's disappearance for two decades were about to be unraveled, and Ben had no idea what he was about to discover. The night that had begun just as another routine shift had transformed into a surreal journey, leading Ben and Jake down a room filled with uncertainty, nostalgia, and the hope of uncovering long-buried truths. As the engine of Jake's peculiar vehicle hummed softly in the backdrop, he beckoned Ben to join him at a nearby coffee shop. Under the dim lights of the quaint establishment, with the gentle sounds of brewing coffee and the faint murmurs of other patrons, the two found themselves sitting opposite each other again, this time with an air of gravity hanging between them. Taking a deep breath, Jake began, I never intended for any of this, Ben. It all happened so fast. His fingers traced the rim of his coffee cup, a hesitant gesture hinting at the monumental weight of his tail. Twenty years prior, Jake had unwittingly become a witness to an unimaginable crime, stumbling upon a shadowy act orchestrated by a city official whose power extended far beyond his official title. Jake realized he had seen something he wasn't supposed to. The gravity of his discovery hit him like a ton of bricks. He was suddenly a pawn in a dangerous game, 
with powerful players intent on ensuring his silence. The man I saw that night, Ben, Jake whispered, he was no ordinary bureaucrat. He was a puppeteer, manipulating strings from the shadows, a man whose influence could decide the fate of anyone who crossed him. Knowing that coming forward would be signing his own death warrant, Jake made the heart-wrenching decision to disappear. Abandoning his former life, his family, and his dear friend Ben, he went underground, crafting a new identity for himself. He moved from city to city, always watching his back, never staying in one place for too long. Jake's engineering background led him to the project he'd been working on, the unusual car. It was designed to be untraceable, equipped with technology that would allow him to avoid detection, both physically and digitally. It was my lifeline, Jake admitted, my way of navigating the world without being noticed, a world where I had to be invisible. Ben, throughout Jake's narration, sat in stunned silence. He felt a whirlwind of emotions, anger, sadness, betrayal, but, above all, a profound empathy for the life Jake had been forced to lead. For the first time, he grappled with the realization that the very system he had dedicated his life to uphold and protect might be corrupted at its core. Jake's story laid bare an uncomfortable truth. The justice system, which Ben had revered and placed his unwavering faith in, had its own shadows. Beneath the veneer of order and righteousness lay a murky underworld of power, politics, and corruption. It made him question his role, his beliefs, and the very essence of the badge he wore with pride. The revelation forced Ben into a moral conundrum. How could he continue to serve a system that allowed such deep-rooted corruption? How could he turn a blind eye to the injustices that existed within the very walls he considered untouchable? Jake, reading Ben's internal turmoil, said, I didn't tell you to make you doubt your path, but to shed light on a truth that's been hidden for too long. The weight of their shared past and Jake's harrowing tale hung between them as they left the coffee shop. For Ben... It marked the beginning of an introspective journey, one where he would grapple with the dichotomies of right and wrong, and the shades of gray that existed in between. The night had transformed from a routine shift into a deep dive into the heart of a corrupt system. Ben knew he was at a crossroads, and the choices he made henceforth would define his very essence as a custodian of the law. Moved by the weight of Jake's story and their renewed bond, Ben made a resolute decision that he would set them both on a tumultuous journey. He would reopen the cold case, confront the corrupt official, and seek justice for the crimes that had remained hidden for far too long. The fire of determination burned brightly in his eyes as they embarked on their mission. Their journey, however, was anything but straightforward. As they delved deeper into the twisted web of corruption, they quickly realized the extent of the peril they had willingly walked into. Threats began to surface. Ominous warnings scribbled on their car windows or whispered in hushed phone calls that sent shivers down their spines. Ambushes became a frighteningly regular occurrence. The darkness of night concealed nefarious figures intent on silencing the duo. They narrowly escaped car crashes, mysterious accidents, and even an inexplicable home invasion where sensitive documents were stolen, leaving them with a chilling sense of vulnerability. Each attack only fueled their resolve further, a determination to unearth the truth that had eluded them for two decades. As the investigation progressed, the roots of corruption seemed to run far deeper than they had initially anticipated. The official they were pursuing was a master of deception, with connections that reached the highest echelons of power. Every lead they followed crumbled into a dead end, with witnesses too terrified to speak, evidence mysteriously disappearing, and whistleblowers meeting untimely ends. Ben's own position within the police department became increasingly precarious. The very institution he had devoted his life to was tainted, with elements within it working tirelessly to thwart their pursuit of justice. Whispers and rumors circulated, casting doubt on Ben's loyalty and intentions. Colleagues he once had considered allies now viewed him with suspicion, questioning his commitment to the force. Despite the mounting adversity, Ben and Jake pressed on, driven by their unyielding determination to expose the truth. They turned to unconventional allies, 
digging into the city's underground network to gather information and piece together the puzzle. The walls of deceit began to crumble, reveling a sinister tapestry of corruption that ensnared not only the official they pursued, but also others who had benefited from his illicit activities. Their pursuit of justice took them to the brink of despair, pushing their friendship to its limits. The emotional toll of constantly living in fear, of not knowing who to trust, weighed heavily on both of them. Yet, in the face of adversity, their bond grew stronger, a testament to the enduring friendship that had withstood the test of time. As the pieces of the puzzle fell into place, they finally gathered enough evidence to expose the corrupt official and his web of deceit. Ben knew that this revelation could bring down the very foundations of the system he had sworn to protect, but he also understood that justice demanded sacrifice. The day of reckoning arrived as they brought their findings to the light of day, exposing the officials' crimes for all to see. The city was stunned, and the shock waves reverberated through its corridors of power. The corrupt official was arrested, and a wave of accountability began to sweep through the police department and beyond. Ben's own position was not without consequences. While he had achieved justice, the price had been high. He found himself at odds with the very institution he had served faithfully, forced to confront the uncomfortable truth that corruption could penetrate even the most revered institutions. Their journey had been arduous, marked by threats, ambushes, and deceit. But it had also been a testament to the power of friendship and the unwavering commitment to justice. As Ben and Jake looked back on the path they had walked together, they knew that their sacrifices had not been in vain, and the city was a step closer to cleansing itself of the darkness that had plagued it for so long. The thrilling climax of Ben and Jake's relentless pursuit of justice was a culmination of years of sacrifice, danger, and unwavering determination. They'd gathered enough evidence to expose the corrupt official, but it came at a steep cost. As the evidence was presented in court, the city watched in rapt attention. The corrupt official, once untouchable, now stood accused of his crimes. It was a moment of reckoning that sent shockwaves through the corridors of power. The trial was intense, with the official employing every legal maneuver and influence he could muster. Ben and Jake, despite facing backlash and ostracism from some of their former colleagues in the police department, testified fearlessly laying bare the extent of the official's corruption. The sacrifices were profound. Ben lost his job, a consequence of his unyielding commitment to justice that had put him at odds with the very institution he had served for so long. He faced ridicule and resentment from some former colleagues who viewed him as a traitor to the force, but Ben's conviction remained unshaken, and he knew he had made the right choice. The verdict finally came in, and justice prevailed. The corrupt official was found guilty and sentenced to a lengthy prison term. The city exhaled a collective sigh of relief as the darkness that had shrouded it for years began to dissipate. It was a bittersweet victory for Ben and Jake, a hard-fought triumph that had come at great personal cost. With the corrupt official behind bars, Jake finally found closure for the traumatic chapter that had haunted him for two decades. The weight of the past began to lift, and he could envision a future in the city he had once been forced to abandon. It was a decision he did not take lightly, but the newfound sense of justice and freedom gave him the courage to settle back in the place he had once called home. As for Ben, his journey had taken an unexpected turn. No longer a police officer, he decided to channel his investigative skills and unwavering sense of justice into a new path. He became a private investigator, working alongside Jake to uncover hidden truths and seek justice for those who had been wronged. The unusual car that once had symbolized Jake's escape from the clutches of a corrupt system now stood as a beacon of their enduring friendship and shared purpose. It had carried them through the darkest of times, a symbol of resilience and hope. Together they continued to use it in their pursuit of justice, a reminder that their journey was far from over. Their partnership as private investigators was marked by a fierce determination to right the wrongs of the world, to bring justice to those who had been denied, and to shine a light into the darkest corners of society. Ben and Jake became a formidable team, their bonds stronger than ever as they faced new challenges and uncovered new truths. The story of Ben and Jake was a testament to the enduring power of friendship 
and the unyielding pursuit of justice, they had faced danger, threats, and sacrifices, but they had emerged victorious, their actions sending a clear message that corruption could not hide forever. As they drove through the city in their unusual car, the wind in their hair and a sense of purpose in their hearts, they knew that their journey was just beginning and that together they could make a difference in a world that sorely needed it.